NewBlueFX's titling software comes equipped with a wide range of exciting tools for creating, editing, and sharing high-quality, professional titles in your video projects and broadcasts. In addition to an extensive library of designs for every occasion, the Title Designer gives you the ability to make your own 3D animated titles from scratch quickly and easily and save them for use in future projects. This tutorial will show you the process of building a title from scratch, utilizing a variety of tools for making it look great, as well as enabling features designed to make the title easy to reuse again and again. The Title Designer can be opened in a number of ways, but for the purposes of this video, we'll be entering the Title Designer through video editing software, in this case Avid Media Composer, by creating a new Titler Pro effect. We'll start by deleting all of the elements from a new design so that we're starting completely from scratch. Add a new text field by selecting Add Text from above the workspace and selecting Variable Text. Keep in mind a variable text field is any text you expect to be making future changes to, such as the name field in a lower third. The Style tab contains a wide assortment of options for formatting your text, such as font, size, justification, kerning, letting, and more. You can change your text field's color or even set its face texture to a gradient, image, or video. The 3D controls give you options for extruding and beveling your text, and the Style Layers dropdown lets you apply effects such as outline glows or drop shadows. Apply any number of these options to your text field, and when it's ready, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Use the handlebars of your text fields in the preview window to modify their location and orientation in 3D space, and double-click your text field to change their data, and enter placeholder text that you'll be replacing in future titles. Next, we'll be using the Add Shape button to create a graphical element to our title. Create a rectangle and drag it over your text. Drag its event on the timeline, labeled Rectangle 01, to be the bottom layer of your design. You can rename your rectangle or any element of your design by right-clicking on it and selecting Rename. Just like with text, objects such as shapes can have their attributes quickly adjusted from within the Style tab. Any object's face texture can be turned into a variable for quick future changes by checking the Variable box. In addition to adjusting your objects in the Workspace and the Style tab, the Global tab comes with options to adjust its attributes numerically, as well as rounding its edges using the Radius slider or skewing its sides. Additionally, you can use the Object Following options to resize your graphics to match text fields as they change in length. For example, select Scale as your type, and your main title text under Follow, and your shape will scale itself to match whatever text you insert into your main text field. Alternatively, you can select your text and use the Text Fit options, selecting Fit Text to Box to shrink any incoming text to fit its bounding box. Finish adding as many graphical elements as you need to make your design look perfect, and all that's left is to add animations. First, you'll want to set the duration of the timeline in the Titler field. We'll set ours at 4 seconds, leaving 2 seconds for intro animation and 2 seconds for outro animation. This number can be changed at any time. After our timeline has been expanded, zoom out using the controls at the bottom and drag each object's handlebars to match the timeline's new length. Next, expand the library and select Transitions, Animations from the drop-down. Open any folder by double-clicking and mouse over any transition with an object selected to see it previewed in the workspace. Apply any transition as an intro by dragging it onto the beginning of an object on the timeline, or as an outro by dragging it onto the end of an object on the timeline. Apply the same process to every object in your title, applying animations and adjusting lengths and durations until it looks just right. Next, drag your title's pause point until it lands after your intro animations and before your outro animations. The pause point is the frame that will be held when your title's duration is expanded in your editing software, so it's important that it doesn't overlap with any transition animations. Since we ended up with some unused space on our timeline, we'll enter a shorter duration, just under 3 seconds, in the Titler field. With your animations complete, your title design is ready to go. You can save your design in a number of ways. In the File menu, you'll see options for saving your project as a new blue title file, saving it directly to the design library, or even exporting your title as an image, movie, or a package zip file, which will bundle all of your title's assets into a single package for quick sharing across multiple machines. Alternatively, you can press the green checkmark at the bottom right to save your title, exit the Title Designer, and return to whichever software you used to enter the Title Designer in the first place with your newly minted title ready to go. 
The techniques shown in this video cover just the basics of creating a broadcast ready design, but the capabilities of the title designer go far beyond the scope of this video. To learn more about all of the innovative features of the title designer, Titler Pro, and Titler Live, visit the help section at newbluefx.com today.